Hello beautiful yogi and welcome back to your practice. Welcome back to you. So today we are going to work on spine flexibility as well as healing our back pain. A lot of times when we have back pain, it's due to not loving our spine the way we should be. So I really want to help you help yourself heal and feel amazing like you should. I used to really suffer with back pain before I started working out, before I did yoga, and I thought that it, my back pain was just always going to be there. That's just how I was. And after a while, I realized through yoga that we can heal ourselves and we don't have to live with unwanted pain forever. So I really hope that this is helpful and useful to you. And they are tools that I have used to heal my own back pain, okay? And we're really gonna be working on the whole back today. So we're gonna start with the lower half of the body and then kind of work our way up to the top half of our body, okay? I want to include a few notes to your brain today and I want you to make your practice kind of fluid. I want you to bring freedom and I want you to get comfortable and bring ease into your practice. I want you to be a little bit playful within the poses and really connect to yourself, okay? And I also really want you to let go of unneeded, unwanted things. I want you to release and shed negative energy. I want you to unblock pathways within your being and clear out anything unneeded. Think positively and visualize yourself getting better. Visualize, I'm gonna have a couple more visualization things within our practice to help you. And yeah, tools that you're gonna need, you might need a blanket or a pillow. They're totally optional, but they do have a little bit of added comfort and I'm sure you have one around your house. Okay, so one more note and then we're gonna move on to the practice. I put lavender and lemongrass in a diffuser. Lavender is super amazing to have to kind of calm down the being and ease any tension or anxiety that might come up, okay? I put lemongrass to uplift the mood and feel amazing. So again, optional, but let's go ahead and get started. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for some notifications every week when I take it, when I bring out a yoga class and meet me in a seated position. I will see you on the mat. Okay, so go ahead and put your legs out long, just right in front of you. Get comfortable, no need to really worry about where your legs are sitting, just making sure that uh, you can stay here for a little bit, okay? So we are gonna reach up just gently, just kind of opening up, really calling in the energy that we wanna call in. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Go ahead and take the hands together and palms to heart center here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Welcome to your practice today. So from here, we are just gonna do a gentle forward fold. So you're gonna really lengthen up through the chest Hinge at the hips and fold forward. Resting your hands wherever they are comfortable, okay? Really letting gravity do the work here. No need to pull or push or anything like that. Just relaxing in and kind of honing into your practice right here. Be gentle with yourself. Breathing. So from here, if you have back pain or an uncomfortable back right now, you can start to scan from your tailbone up all the way to your neck. So really just scanning each layer and seeing where the pain is at. Really identifying where it's coming from, where it's maybe spidering out to recognizing where it's going within your body. 
and you probably already know, but I really want you to feel it out. Couple more breaths here. Go ahead and inhale gently up, coming back to a neutral spine here. Close your eyes for a moment. And here I want you to picture your, the bottom half of you, everything that is touching the mat, really rooting down, really grounding down and releasing any negative energy that you're holding on to today, okay? Normally when we have physical tension within our body, a lot of emotional tension gets stuck right there. So I really want you to concentrate on clearing out. There you go. Okay, from here, I want you to bring your feet together and slide it into a B posture here, okay? We're letting your knees hang out wide, and I'm actually gonna kind of turn towards you so you can see this a little bit. And I want you to inhale and exhale into a comfortable B pose, okay? So wherever your body stops is where you're gonna wanna stop with it, okay? No pulling, no pushing. We're just relaxing into our pose here. Really connecting with your breath. This is a great place to really elongate your exhales and deepen your inhales. Really letting your mind focus on the breath and not the thought. If you're a little deep into your B pose, you can rest your chin into your hands like I am doing. I really like this one a lot. It kind of gives you like a contemplating feeling to where it's kind of calming a little bit. <laughs> Letting gravity pull you down again. And from here, I want you to take your arms out long, really reach them out as long as they can go, stretching out the fingers. And then I want you to walk the hands over to the right. This is going to force your spine to make kind of a C shape, okay? I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale. Really settle into this. Really letting that side body really open. Really breathing into the back region, breathing into where you're feeling sensation, to where you probably normally have a lot of back pain. Breathing deeply. Now that you've settled in a little bit, I want you to concentrate on pulling that right shoulder back. This is gonna help open this side body further and really encourage that spine to bend and be malleable. Maybe relaxing the neck and the head Encouraging relaxation and calmness throughout your body. You can even kind of root the hands into the mat and pull a little bit if you want to deepen the pose. Go ahead and inhale. 
and exhale back to center. Really slowly give yourself time, be gentle, no rush, okay? Once you get back to the center, I want you to take a really deep breath. Inhaling, inhaling, exhaling. And now I want you to walk your hands over to the left. Doing the same thing, really stretching the fingertips, really elongating the arms, and then walking. Encouraging that right side body to really open up. Expanding, making room, making space, yes. Perfect. Remembering to pull that left shoulder back and maybe down a little bit. Relaxing the neck and head and pulling into the hands if need be. You're always welcome to find different corners of the poses to feel things out and explore new places within the pose. Inhale deeply, inhale, exhale. Walk yourself back to center. There you go. Now I want you to really stretch out, really elongate those arms and pull and push into the hands, explore, okay? And here we're pushing gravity a little bit. We're kind of working with gravity if that makes any sense. And now as you exhale, I want you to push yourself up. Perfect. Go ahead and bring your legs back into a cross-legged position, just something comfortable, okay? Perfect, go ahead and rest the palms on top of the knees. <coughs> Close the eyes, inhale. Exhale. And we're going to take a moment here to do a little bit of that back scan again. So starting from the tailbone and working your way up the spine visually and really just feeling where you've made a space and feeling where there's more room to make space, okay? As we kind of open up um, open up the back, we're gonna see different little avenues that we can make space within our body, and within our being, okay? And it takes a little bit of practice. If you haven't been doing yoga for a long time, it might be kind of flying over your head and you might think I'm a little nuts. <laughs> so just be gentle with yourself and you know, do the visualization the way that you want to as well, okay? We're really closing the eyes and starting to scan up and down the body. Breathing into where the space is and where it is creating. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeper, connecting your mind with your body, with your breath, with you. On your next exhale, open your eyes. Hi. Okay, so now I'm going to turn just so that you can see me, but you can just stay where you're at. I want you to take your palms out in front of you and then bring them back behind you on the lower portion of your back, okay? Just kind of where uh, you can kind of make a little anchor with your hands in, okay? You're gonna spread the fingers out. So you're going to also now here pull your shoulder or your shoulder blades together. So essentially drawing the elbows towards each other, this will also do the same thing. 
making sure that we're in some good alignment, making sure you're opening up the chest and letting the head and neck kind of relax to where it feels comfortable. Inhaling and exhaling to lean back. So you're really supporting yourself here. You're not really pushing the limits. You're just breathing into it and kind of feeling. And from here, I want you to kind of rock to the right, kind of pushing the right hand into the back. Again, kind of making a little bit of a C shape with our spine, making sure to still pull the elbows in towards each other, not losing your alignment and breathing into it, okay? You can close your eyes a little bit if you'd like. Inhale to come back up and exhale to go to the other side. So really pushing in leaning and rocking, relaxing into it, inhale to come back up, exhale, give it one more little back bend, inhale into neutral spine, release and place the palms back onto the knees. So I'm telling you to close your eyes a lot because when we close our eyes, we're really reducing a lot of cluttered thoughts. We're also calming down the mind a little bit and you can also explore um, different visualizations and different even forms of meditation and kind of movement meditation, right? So I really love to encourage, especially classes where we're relaxing and listening to our body to close the eyes. It really, really helps. Okay. But it's totally up to you always. Go ahead and inhale and exhale. Okay. From here, I want you to take your legs out long again. We're going to do something a little bit different than you've probably done before. And we're going to take our right leg and our right butt cheek and move them forward. So you're going to see how one leg is further out than the other, you're probably already feeling it if you're there. You're already feeling it up. So this is creating, a, kind of breaking up tension within our body, okay? This is what this is here for. So we're gonna inhale and hinge at the hips into a forward fold. You're probably not going to get as far as you do in a normal aligned forward fold. That's totally okay, because I'm with it. I'm there with you. <laughs> Really breathing into it. And I want you to take your arms and make them how your legs are. So one hand is gonna be further than the other. Breathing into it. You might be feeling it kind of up in your hip a little bit, maybe even your lower back, down your leg. I feel it kind of in my ankle because this is kind of a problem area right now. So I want you to just kind of breathe into the sensation. I want you to feel, breathe and feel, and try to clear any thoughts of wanting out. Closing your eyes if that feels good. Breathing, yes, breathing. And then inhale, bring the legs back in line with each other. Bring the feet back in line with each other. Ooh, that might have been a little bit intense. It's totally okay. I want you to just kind of rock the heels. So you're going to kind of release a little bit of unwanted energy, kind of shedding within your feet. Yes. And you can kind of roll out the ankles if you want. this to move the tiny parts of your body really give the limbs some love yeah I really really like that and think that it brings a sort of mindfulness to your practice yeah so you can kind of do it throughout your day and incorporate it into your lifestyle as well pointing and flexing the feet 
finding what feels good. Yes. All right. Take a one last shake and bring it back into center and find a little bit of stillness. Inhale and exhale. Take that left foot full, more forward out, creating that asymmetry again. Yes. Okay. So again, one foot longer than the other here. Inhaling and hinging at the hips. Ensuring that your hands are also one longer than the other. This is going to encourage the whole body to take this shape instead of just the legs and the lower half of the body. Yeah, cool. Inhaling and exhaling. Really sending that exhale the sensation. Breathing into the sensation instead of running away from it. it takes a while to learn that within yoga, but once you do, magic, magic. Relax the neck and head if you need to. Few more breaths. Inhale and come back to center with me. And there we go. Okay, so from here we are going to just lay down. And here you're going to want to grab a blanket or a pillow if you have it. Lay down. You can bend at the knees. This is going to help take a little bit of tension off of the lower back if that is where you have some pain. Okay, now that we're here, we're gonna drop the knees to one side and roll over onto our side. And this is where I always need a pillow. I think I've got some bony hips or something. <laughs> okay, so you can take a pillow and put it right under your side body as well. So I like to set up the blanket so it's under my hip and then set up a pillow so it's under like my rib area because it'll this area is gonna kind of sink as we're here, okay? So you're gonna bend at the elbow and lie the forearm onto the ground. From here, we're gonna double check our alignment. So we're gonna make sure that our legs are out long. You can bend at them just a little bit if that adds comfortability to your practice, okay? Or you can leave them out long, whatever is good for you. Okay, so we're gonna rock back and forth on the hip, find a spot that we can stay in for a while, okay? Moving a little bit further up. We're gonna make sure that our elbow is under our shoulder and not out, okay? Really under the shoulder. We're gonna make sure the wrist is in line with the elbow. So you're making a 90 degrees here, okay? Perfect. Okay, so from here we're gonna take this free arm, but uh, for me it's my right arm. We're gonna inhale, bring it up. Your hips probably going to rock forward a little bit. That's totally welcome. And you're going to drop the neck and head and then exhale everything down. And P.S. We're in dragon pose right now. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling down. And when you exhale and land here, I really want you to push your neck and head towards the bottom half of you, okay? Encouraging a little bit of stretch there, kind of down your neck and down your shoulder. Inhaling, coming up. Dropping the neck and the head here. Pull, acting as someone's pulling your hand towards the ground. And exhaling. And exhaling. Yes. Inhaling. And exhaling. Okay. 
Okay, from here, I want you to take your top leg. I want you to bring it out in front of you and kind of twist the top half of you forward. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time so that you can see it. So here you are, dragon pose, hi. I'm gonna take your right leg, lift it up, put the sole of your foot onto the ground, kind of walking it in so that you're in alignment, and then pushing that top half of you forward, okay? You can kind of lie your palms on the ground. You can kind of fold them and really deepen into the pose. Find where it feels good for you. If you need to pull out the pillow a little bit here, that's welcome as well. Which I like that because my forearm kind of hurts. So that might serve you. And from here, I want you to concentrate on bringing the shoulders forward so that they're in alignment. Here we're creating kind of a twist within our back and you want to encourage the twist within the top half of your body. You can flap the hands if you want. Really breathing, breathing into sensation, okay? And now I want you to really let the chest hang down, let it pull down, let gravity work its magic, okay? Inhale, exhale, and go ahead and turn yourself really slowly back to dragon pose. Okay, so from Dragon Pose, I want you to take your elbow out long and hook your hand so that your head rests into your hand, okay? Perfect. Now we're going to take a couple more of your movements, okay? So go ahead and inhale up. And you're not going to really feel it as intense. You can even do as I was doing with your hand down to the ground and then inhale, bring it up. Exhale, push your head back up. Inhaling. Exhaling. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and take your pillow out so that your head rests under it. If you have one, and roll over onto your back. This is another great place to have a blanket if you have one, okay? So I want you to go ahead and inhale and pull the legs towards you. Go ahead and hug in. We're in little bear pose now. Lift your chest up and through to meet the knees. Inhaling and exhaling. On your next exhale, slowly release. Okay, now I want you to roll over to your other side and I'm gonna switch sides so that you can see me. So setting up that blanket under your hip again, making sure we're going into dragon pose here. Checking the alignment from the bottom, making sure that you're in a comfortable place onto your hip. Your shoulder is in line with your elbow and your elbow's in line with your wrist, 90 degrees. Yes, perfect. Go ahead and take that free arm and inhale up. Stretching open and exhaling. Inhale up, stretching. Relaxing the neck and head. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. 
continuing on your own for a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Come back to center as you exhale. And take that top leg, place it out in front of you, walk the foot in a little bit, twist around. Pulling the shoulders towards the ground and towards each other. Pushing that chest down to the ground, letting gravity work with you. Relaxing the neck and head if you want. With the breath as always. Inhale, exhale, unwind. Perfect. Coming back to dragon pose again, just hooking the hand and elbow under the head, getting comfortable. Reaching up, exhaling, inhaling up, really stretching when you get to the top. Act as if someone's pulling your hand away from you. And exhale, float it down, inhale up, and exhale. One more. Perfect. Now we're gonna make our way under little bear pose. So lie on to your back. Perfect. Knees come up. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, pull and hug in. Breathe deeper. Perfect, go ahead and exhale and release, let go. Perfect, okay. Make your way up to a seated position, okay? You can get rid of your blanket or your pillow. You can also prop your hips up onto the blanket if that feels good for you, okay? All right, we're gonna do one more short um, series of movements and then I'm gonna send you on your way. First, I want to kind of explain what we just went through. When we have a lot of back pain, we tend to move forward a lot. We tend to move backward a lot, which is great for this sort of malleability on your back, right? However, when you have your spine straight up and down, how often do you move from side to side? Your spine gets a lot of this action, but not a lot of this action. So your muscles, and I'm not a side, like I don't know the ins and outs, so I hope this is this is correct within yoga terms, as far as I'm concerned. This is what I've learned and what is my truth, okay? But when you move side to side, you're really kind of opening things up this way instead of this way, which your muscles kind of tighten in, right? So you need to kind of knock them out and create that space, okay? 
So hopefully that makes sense to you. But anywho, let's move on. Okay. So from here, I want you to reach up. Reach up as if someone's pulling your hands up, really lengthening into the spine. Lengthening up. Perfect. Exhaling everything down. And I want you to tip to the right. With your neck and your head, you can bring the palm down to the ground, bending at the elbow, letting that upper half of your body just stretch open, letting that side body open up. Exhaling up to center. I want you to bring your hands up again and lengthen palms together. Pull up, reach up, grow an inch. Exhale, let the hands float down. <laughs> okay. Other side. So letting everything just drop to one side. Letting this um, side body pull in and this side body open. Perfect. Dropping the neck and the head, bending at the elbow. Good. Inhale to come up. Reach up, lengthen up. Try to wiggle if you need. Deep, deep, deep. And exhale, float back down. From here, I want you to take your left hand, bring it to your right knee, and twist around. Inhaling, exhaling deeper into the twist. Being really gentle with yourself though still, okay? You might be a little bit more open than you have been for a while, so just ease in, okay? Inhaling, release. Back to center. Now we want to take our right hand to our right knee and twisting to the other side. Inhaling, exhaling deeper into the twist. Exhale and release. With twists, it's really amazing because you can feel as you inhale the space opening up and then exhaling and moving into the twist. So that's kind of something that you can play around with as well. And thank you so much for joining me on the mat. Please hit the like button and comment what your very favorite part of this was and what helped you. And again, Namaste Yogi, it is always your choice to take a savasana or meditation, even lie on your belly if you'd want, want to in this case. And I'll see you next time on the mat. Namaste, Yogi.